much, Mr. Speaker. The serious shortage protocol SI would allow pharmacists to dispense alternative drugs when there is short supply, but crucially without consulting the GP. The problem is they can't access patients' records and might dispense a drug which has previously caused serious side effects. Yes. Is the Secretary of State really expecting such extensive shortages that phoning a GP will be impractical? <laughs> uh, uh, this, this change is to respond to uh, the shortages that happen from time to time uh, regularly within the uh, within the NHS. In the supply of, given that the supply of 12,300 drugs is typical across the NHS, um, it, there are always some logistical challenges, um, and this protocol is to try to ensure that we can respond to those challenges as well as possible. Pharmacists are highly trained in what they do uh, and perfectly able to carry out as proposed. The problem is the key issue is not consulting the GP. Yeah. And the medical legal responsibility for any problems normally lies with the prescriber. Yet the General Medical Council were not even consulted on this wow. SI. So does he really think such a significant change should be pushed through with a negative resolution and no scrutiny and debate? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's getting scrutiny and debate now. And I think that the... I think that the I think that the change that's being proposed, the change that's being proposed is about making sure that we can get people the drugs that they need and of course the responsibility is on a pharmacist to ensure that is the appropriate drug and if necessary to ensure that the GP is involved. Uh, but it's absolutely right that we make changes to ensure we have the unhindered supply of medicines whenever there's uh, shortages, whether that's to do with Brexit or not.